and we start with the MVP race in the American League, which Shohei Otani has now taken the lead back on the FanDuel Sportsbook, now a minus money favorite at minus 125. All it took Donnie was a trip to Yankee Stadium where in two games he's hit three home runs and has now got a lead leading 28 jacks this season. My only question at this point now, Kevin, is, you know, we were bagging on the odds rankings here just a few days yeah. ago saying, what does it take for Shohei Otani? Well, obviously it took two home runs on the biggest stage in the world to finally move ahead of Vladimir Guerrero Jr., my only question now is it yeah. seems like minus 125 is still a steal at this point. Kevin, he could hit 40-plus home runs and be a dominant pitcher, and we're talking about him having barely a lead for an MVP? As I coined the phrase, this is the epitome, Kevin, of bizarro world right now. He is by far the best player in the American League, and it seems like he's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a guy – having a good season I, I still can't I don't know what to make of it but I still love the minus 125 on Otani right now I love Otani but I ha I have to push back a little on Vlad no. is not having a no. good season Vladimir Come. Guerrero Jr. right now is working towards a major league baseball wide not just American League baseball wide triple crown he has the best average in the entire league and the most RBIs and he's second in home runs only to show a I do believe that Vladdy should be comfortably in front of whomever you want to be the third choice, currently Xander Bogarts. I also agree Shohei should be the favorite. I think you're looking at two guys that are having otherworldly seasons. The confusion for me always, though, was the guy who felt like he was doing something even more historical, who was kind of, again, a little bit more of the star, and... Having the advanced statistics better season somehow not being the favorite, but this is the power of, I guess, playing in Yankee Stadium. If he was a Yankee, he probably, though, to Donnie's point, would be like minus 300. Shohei is rightfully the minus money favorite. But, I mean, Donnie, we're working towards a league-wide triple crown here. Let's not throw Vladimir Guerrero Jr. under the bus as if he's having, you know, an... Aaron Judge, it's all right kind of year. No, well, here's what we need here. I, I, and I'm already taking the I, – I graded at least another 25 points the fact that Otani's like, you know what, I'm a pitcher and I'm going to rake in this home run derby. And, and you take a look at Valerio Guerrero Jr., he's not going to do that. Now, here's what I need out of Vladdy. If he's going to take off, you know, decompress over the all-star break and go play the all-star game, you know what I need out of him in the second half, Kevin? Specifically if Toronto mm. is out of the race. Why not just let Vladdy close a couple games – for the Toronto Blue Jays, like he's a pitcher too. <laughs> he's a pitcher too. Just let him get some yeah. innings in there and say, "Hey, look, I'm a I qualified like pitcher as well. I want that odds boost on my end of it right now." But I do see your point. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is an up and coming, emerging superstar in Major League Baseball. But this whole adage of Otani dominating on the mound and might hit 50 home runs as a batter is just amazing to me. But finally, he's taken the lead here in the odds race. 